Today on Ham Radio q and I'm going to open up this box and show you what's inside. So please keep watching for more. Hi, I'm Michael, KB9VBR, your host for Ham Radio q and I'm on a mission to inspire and educate the amateur radio community. And today, I'm going to show you what I carry with me out in the field for antennas. You've probably seen me pull this box out of my car countless times, rummage through its in insides, and uh, pull out an antenna. Well, did you ever wonder, <laughs> you know, what antennas I, do I bring with me? Well, today I'm going to show you. Now, in a previous video, you, um, I dug into my HF portable kit, and you saw the transceiver and all that other stuff. Uh, if you've missed that video, a link to it, I'll just pop right up here. Otherwise, uh, you'll want to check that in the video description down below. Uh, we're going to uh, focus our attention on the antenna kit. And everything I've got um, is stored in this five gallon uh, Husky professional uh, storage container. Uh, we've kind of settled on these Husky containers because they're modular. I've uh, found that uh, they pack really well into the, uh, the back of my car. So when we go camping, we've, we've got like three of these that we can easily um, stack into place in the vehicle. They fit nicely and uh, they keep all of our gear organized. Plus they're waterproof. So if, it, if they get rained on, I'm not really concerned about the in insides getting wet. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the case up. Uh, the nice thing about this case is that um, you can actually totally remove the lid and that makes uh, getting into it a lot easier for the purposes of this video. On the top is my rope bag and um, I've got everything uh, organized in these Amazon Basics uh, packing cubes. I use the small cubes and the medium sized cubes. Link to these, like I said, will be in the, in the video description down below. In the bag, I've got uh, several lengths of rope. Uh, I carry uh, 70, uh, at least two 75 foot pieces of 332 inch uh, rope. This is, this is my main throw rope that I use if I'm putting an antenna into the trees. And to do that, I use my 12 ounce uh, Weaver uh, throw bag. I also carry uh, several 25 foot pieces of rope. Uh, that's usually to, to either guy an antenna in an end of antenna or, or to secure it some way. I got four of these. I also have uh, four uh, 50 foot lengths of rope and I try to color code my ropes so that I know you know the 25s and the 50s it's easy to kind of pick those uh, when I'm you know if I whatever length of rope I might need. Also keep a tent stake in here uh, that's for um, if, I, if I've got like a, a sloper or something like that and I want to uh, stake it instead of finding a tree or, or some other type of support to um, hold it in place. Uh, below the rope bag is my coax bag. Uh, this is the medium size Amazon cube. And in here I keep, uh, basically for my cable I'm using RG8X. Um, I usually carry two 25 foot pieces and I carry two 50 foot pieces of RG8X. Um, that gives me a lot of versatility. I've got barrel connectors in the HF kit, so if I need to extend my cables, I can, I can easily do that. Um, but uh, the 25s and the 50s work really well. And that gives me you know, extra cable, and uh, if, I, if, if I'm ever in the event that I need a spare out in the field, because um, uh, Rule number one is you don't want to be, uh, you know, hampered or limited, <laughs> um, failed in activation because you're out, you're out in the field and a piece of equipment failed, like something simple like, like coax cable or a connector or things like that. So try, so try to have a, a spare whenever possible. Um, when I, um, now like I said, this is my core kit. So um, when I go out into the field, I always have two styles of antenna with me. I have a vertical antenna that I can put up just about anywhere and then I also have um, a wire antenna. And uh, for the vertical antenna I use the Wolf River coil. Oops, holding it upside down. <laughs> uh, I use the Wolf River coil. Um, this is the Silver Bullet 1000. Uh, it runs you know 10 through uh, 80 meters depending on the length of your whip. I typically bring the 17 foot stainless steel whip with me. 
So uh, if I take, if um, I can use that 17 foot whip uh, without the coil for 20 meters and above, and then with the coil, uh, 40 meters and lower. So that gives me <laughs> uh, 10 through 80 meters on a, uh, with a vertical antenna. For um, mounting the coil, I will off, oftentimes I will use this uh, jaw clamp. Uh, I picked this up, I have a hand fest. You can also purchase these online. Uh, it's got a nice big uh, jaw in it and I can use, I can attach this to say a picnic table, fire ring, barbecue grill. Um, I've got a piece of copper tubing that I will carry with me and pound that into the ground. Um, if I wanna use, yeah, I can use that with this or some other, any type of support. Uh, super versatile type of, of clamp and um, really, a, uh, it's really been an invaluable component. Uh, for ground radials, I carry two bundles of uh, 16 foot uh, radials. There's eight individual, uh, or there's four individual radials per bundle of 16 feet each. So I, I, I'll spread out these eight radials in a circular pattern uh, around, the, around the vertical antenna. Uh, really works, it's been working really well. Um, I don't have to fiddle around with adjusting the radials, playing with them or not. Uh, seem to get really good gain with them. So uh, really been happy uh, with this uh, sort of bundled radial uh, uh, method. Uh, just, they just have a spring alligator clip that I can clip onto my clamp mount. Okay, that's my vertical antenna. Now for the um, horizontal, for the wire antennas, uh, my favorite primary wire antenna, of course, is my link dipole antenna. I built this one and I've got a video, I'll put that in the, in the video description down below on how you can build your own. Uh, this is a 40 meter dipole and I put cuts in them uh, for actually for 20 meters and for 17 meters. And these, these, these brakes have just little um, uh, Anderson power poles on them so I can engage or disengage uh, the, the, the brakes and make the, that antenna longer or shorter depending on what band I want it to be on. Uh, really convenient. This is probably, you know, my best of, of, in my entire kit, this is probably the best performing antenna that I have. And you can build this yourself for under $20. Um, after that, um, now that, now the, then, the link dipole is a great performing antenna, but um, if I'm at a campsite or in a forest or something like that, I'm, the trees might not be positioned exactly the way I want them to effectively deploy that antenna. So my backup on that is an N-fed half-wave antenna. This is a 10 through 40 meter N-fed half-wave antenna. Uh, this is the Chameleon uh, CHA-LEFS lightweight N-fed system. A uh, very good N-fed antenna. I've had extremely good results with this antenna. Uh, goes up fast packs up quickly, so it works really well for me. And that, and then one last item I keep in my, in my kit um, is this is a little homebrew uh, attachment that I put, uh, that I can put onto a fiberglass painter's pole. It's just a handle from a roller brush that I've added um, an eye and uh, a carabiner to. And I've got a, now I've got an antenna mount that goes on one of those 24 foot uh, push up poles and um, just some desiccant uh, to keep the, keep the box dry. And that's it, this is, now this is my core kit. Um, all of these things, you know, fit uh, very nicely into the core kit, uh, but um, that's not all the antennas I bring. I may change up my antennas depending on the situation where I'm going, uh, et cetera. Uh, I've got a couple other antennas I will throw, you know, I may throw in here or take out uh, depending on that. I've, I carry, sometimes I carry an 80 meter off center fed dipole antenna. Um, I do, something that I can't really deploy everywhere, but um, if I've got the ability to put it up, I've got space in this box and I'll throw it in there. Another one I might use is my, um, uh, the Chameleon m 2 or the Chameleon Tactical uh, Delta Loop antennas. I've got a, a pouch with, uh, with the m parts in it. I can throw that into this box and I've got that capability as well. But um, these three antennas, um, 
really suit about 90% of my communications needs when I'm out in the field for uh, parks on the air. Uh, so, and it all packs up in an easy to use box. This probably weighs less than uh, 20 pounds. So um, questions, comments on my portable antenna kit? I'd love to hear them, leave them down below. Otherwise, uh, uh, thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. I'm Michael, KB9 VBR. Have a great day in 73. Hey, before you go, I almost forgot to tell you about uh, these other items. The, um, like I said, I carry, uh, carry a piece of pipe. Uh, this is just three quarter inch uh, copper tubing to um, pound into the ground for the uh, uh, Wolf River coil. And then for the whip, 17 foot stainless whip. This is the Chameleon SS 17. Beautiful whip, I love this a lot. Uh, there we go, thanks for watching.